Hey YouTubers, this is Guffa Bob on the Guffa Bob channel, and today we're doing another review. This is of a, a junior set, one zero seven five three, as you can see there. This is one that I picked up. I got it cheaper because it was a damaged box, so then you got a Target. I think it was. So this is the box. That's the back of it. So. The problem I did have with these is because of the large single pieces, because yeah, it is for juniors. However, I will go through some of the good things that are about this set, some of the negatives, but mostly good actually, I would say. Uh, that's it, that's the box. Let's go through, let's... One spare piece with it, which is that, which is cool. Here's the instruction booklet. It's a chunky instruction booklet because they do one piece at a time with most of the, well, pretty much all of it. It's one piece at a time, okay? So the only, yeah, they do have big pieces like that. And the car is one piece, but the minifigs are cool. And there's the, some advertising material. So there's that, and it does it's a cartoon on the back, and it does it all in 33 steps. Okay, so I think for that one, uh, yeah, there's different steps in each. Each year, because you're building three things, you're building the uh, bat cave, the car, and the bat wing. All right. So that's that. So we'll put that back in the box. As well as the one piece, extra piece. Right. Let's get straight to the minifigs. There's Robin. Looking kind of cool. With his gun. The cape. This is one positive thing with the cape. It just has, being a junior's, It's not like the uh, for the older sets that's got two pieces you have to loop over. This is just one piece to loop over, and it's a double face print. So there's that. So he is kind of cool. Printing on there is excellent. There's that. So that's a positive thing about the capes because. Uh, I find the capes with the double thing, they just don't sit the nicest. There's the Joker. Okay, and he's got his hammer, obviously from Harley Quinn, because she's always uh, portrayed with a hammer in pretty much all the sets. And you've got sticks of dynamite. You got two of them with the Joker, and there is Batman. Printing. He has a rear face print. And again, yeah, one piece uh, cape rather than a uh, two piece. You got two pieces with the loop over. Head. It's just one hole. You just slip it on, and that's that. And he comes with two batarangs. One's a spare. So that's kind of cool for him. So that's the good thing about the capes. It's just one notch to put over the head. That's great. I think it's fantastic. Uh, the second thing is there's no stickers in this. Everything is a printed piece, all printed. And I'm thinking, why don't they do that with all? Because there's a lot of problems with stickers coming off. Uh, especially if you're living in humidity, you know, places that are lots of humidity. So, anyway. But, the, oh, there's the dynamite coming off. I'll just dump them out. This is the Joker's car. He's got a ball and chain coming from the back. Uh, flames reaching out there. No stairs printed, so that's great printed but that is one piece that whole car is one piece even those they're stuck on there you just put the tires on and that's it that's the downside of it 
but it for yeah it actually proves that they can do printed pieces instead of stickers maybe because they give the option to apply those stickers or not not too sure but probably that would be it here's the bat wing okay all printed uh, pieces that's a spare disc and there's a disc there it's all printed uh, that's one piece so nothing much to it but no that's a cool bat wing definitely and here is the bat cave that's independent it can come off if you so desire and rearrange it that's a printed piece printed piece up there and the prison to put in the joker if you wish and yeah you can take that off swap it over well you can't really swap it over but you could you just put that on the other side and it will swap it over so there we go that's the bat cave somewhere to put the bat wing when it retires for whatever it's great no so it is a good set i was having a bit of precaution over it you know but it's not bad for the minifigs and uh, the printed pieces it's great uh for the actual build uh, well it's you know it's for juniors so that's what it is but no it's a good set for what it is uh this came out in 2000 and 18 has 151 pieces and three minifigs and it's part of the DC Superheroes uh, comics. All right guys. Thanks for watching and we will catch you next time. Bye